So I turned off monetization for this video, but if I hadn't, there's a strong chance it would have been preceded by a Rick Caruso ad. Who is Rick Caruso? If you're anywhere near LA, you probably know because it's impossible to go five seconds in the city without being bombarded by his ads like a boring minority report. He's a billionaire real estate developer who built the Grove in Americana. And he's floated the idea of being mayor of LA a few times in the past, although never run. But this year, he's changed his registration to Democrat, Scrooge McDucked his own campaign, and is trying to buy the election in the primary before most people are paying any attention. Well, let's back up and break that down, starting at the primary bit. You see, in California, we have a system known as a top two primary. What that means is that all candidates, regardless of political party, run against each other in the same primary, and if no one gets 50%, the top two advance to a runoff in the general election. That means that if a candidate can manage to get 50% of the vote in the lower turnout primary, then they don't need to go to the general. They win it outright before a lot of people even know what's happening. Recent polls put Rick Caruso and Congresswoman Karen Bass in a dead heat, with a huge number undecided. Most people's expectation looking at this is, oh, Caruso and Bass will go to the general. But look at that undecided number, and remember that California mails ballots to every single primary voter, making it exceptionally easy to vote, which is a great thing. But Caruso has used this practically unlimited cash to flood the airwaves with ads so ubiquitous that his name recognition for unengaged voters will be massive, and many of them will only know what he tells them. I decided to make this video because of the huge number of people I've encountered who are surprised when they see Caruso backlash. Because he's a Democrat, or they like the Grove, or insert XYZ that they heard about one of his opponents. And first off, the idea that anyone left of center is considering voting for a billionaire real estate developer who insists that only he can fix our problems is just... Yeah, okay. But let's unpack that Democrat one, because Caruso is a dyed-in-the-wool Republican. He switched his registration to Democrat in January, because, well, you don't become mayor of LA if you're not one. He's on record as being pro-life despite frantically denying it now. He's donated to some real stand-up people like Kevin McCarthy and Mitch McConnell. And actually, yeah, let's look at his political donations. We can do that thanks to Open Secret, a great little website that you should all check out. Now, their campaign might point out that there's plenty of donations to Republicans and Democrats in here. I mean, Republicans aren't even quite half of the transactions. Hell, he even threw some money to Karen Bass at one point. And my first response to that is, Jesus Christ, am I losing my mind, or did we not just have this national discussion about a fucking corrupt billionaire real estate developer who gave money to politicians of all stripes to grease the wheels, including his opponent, just a very memorable short while ago? And my second response is, let's break the donations down by dollar amount. So, there's 125 transactions to Democrats and Democratic causes, 119 to Republicans, Republican causes, and lobbying groups that tend to lean Republican, and 8 to nonpartisan, bipartisan, or unclassifiable groups for people. Seems even until you see that in dollars, Dems get $413,243, while Republicans get $1,450,114. The difference is even more stark when you split out small dollar donations, of the kind typically given to local politicians if you're, say, a real estate developer looking to grease some palms for the benefit of your projects, versus high dollar donations typically given to help a candidate actually win. Small dollar donations are spread out relatively evenly between Republicans and Democrats. But when you look at donations over $10,000, 80% of those dollars go towards Republicans or conservative causes. When you look at donations over $100,000, 100% of those donations are to Republicans or conservative causes. It is very clear what the man's ideology is. Let's enjoy some highlights. This right here is one of my favorite sections for showing the difference between Republican and Democratic spending. We have a single donation to the California Democratic Party, totaling $2,500, surrounded by six donations to the California Republican Party, totaling $160,000, plus over $223,000 for a Republican governor, for good measure. And, wait, is that a donation to somebody named Barry Groveman? Grove? Man? Like, is he... 
You know what? Never mind. You know, this whole section is instructive, actually, because there are 52 donations in a row for Republicans and Republican causes, including this section down here, where he's spreading small dollars to Republican state parties like he's at a strip club and the theocracy is dancing on the stage. Here, just after Trump's inauguration, he gives 5400 to Kevin McCarthy and over 44000 to the National Republican Congressional Committee in one of its PACs. Compare again against 5000 to a Dem PAC. Grease the wheels money versus help you win money. And all this is to say nothing of his actual policy. We've invested tens of billions of dollars. We have an enormous amount of proposals of doing things that, in my opinion, don't make sense and I wouldn't allow to happen if I was mayor. And we could spend our money in a much better way getting people out of their cars and onto public transportation by making it a better experience than putting them in the ground with not a lot of safety precautions down there in terms of criminals. So he thinks the money we've invested doesn't make sense, wouldn't allow it to happen if he was mayor, and that public transportation would be better if it wasn't underground because the underground is full of criminals. Holy shit, it's Bel Air and Sherman Oaks stacked in a trench coat. Tell somebody before- Wait, actually, he did give money to Sean Bayless, now of the Bel Air Association. Holy shit. You yeah, get the point. Papa Grove isn't some harmless candidate. He's literally an anti-choice conservative billionaire real estate developer who supported Republicans under Trump who's trying to buy the election in LA before most people are paying attention. So please, vote in the June 7th primary. You should have your mail ballots already. And vote for anyone except Caruso. That's the beauty of a top two primary. A vote for anyone else, no matter who your preferred candidate is, helps keep Caruso under 50%. Personally, I'm voting Gina Viola, and if the runoff happens to be Bass versus Caruso, then I'm definitely voting Bass. But again, whoever you vote for, as long as it isn't Caruso, helps keep him under 50. So please tell everyone you know, share this with your friends, and I promise I'll make a 2022 Metro Update video soon.